What's going on, guys? Beastly Gamer here with the lovely. What's your name again? Um, Kate, I think. Yeah, that's it. I guess. We wanted to get with you guys and kind of talk about some news that we just heard, give you our thoughts, and then get your thoughts in the comment section below. We hope you're all doing good. We're, uh, I'm on vacation, and uh, this is one of those vacations that you take where you don't do anything, right? A lazy vacation. Yeah, I'm just chilling. I'm, I'm cooking. I'm barbecuing, and I'm. Um, doing little odds and ends around the house and, and enjoying myself, spending time with my family, playing video games, playing uh, Destiny, the, the beta is back up today. Back up. So we'll be doing that. But we want to talk to you guys about this EA news. EA just came out and announced some delays, which by now a lot of people should be used to delays. And uh, I want to talk to you guys. She want to talk to you guys and give you our thoughts on it. They announced that they're delaying Dragon Age Inquisition until November 18th. And they're uh, delaying Battlefield Hardline until an undisclosed date in 2015. Uh, and and so here we go again. Uh, we want to talk to you guys about it, but I really want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. Uh, what do you think is the reason behind uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, personally? And if I agree with you, I'll, I'll just say I agree. <laughs> really? I thought you'd disagree. Um, I think... Well, it's supposed to come out in October, right? It was? Yeah, no. October. October. But it's coming out in November. Um, aren't there, like, a whole list of games coming out in October? There's a, a shitload of games. Let me click here. This is uh, the I, magic of the internet. Um, this is the list of games that are coming out in October. And um, so so what do your, your, you, you think that they're trying to avoid coming out with these? Yeah, already? trying to avoid the competing with the long list of AAA titles that are supposed to come out. Okay, the games get away from that. The games are scheduled right now for October are Forza Horizon 2, which I'm not interested in. Smash Brothers, which I have to have and you have to learn how to play. Tell her she needs to learn how to play Smash Brothers with me. You know, when I'm playing Smash Brothers, she wants to read books and stuff. And tell her it's not good for her. She needs to put the books down and pick up the controller. I like to read. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, which is supposed to be like the big, amazing title. People are loving it. It looks great. Um, and actually, I'm not really into the Middle Earth thing. I'm not really into the Hobbit type stuff. But that game really does look phenomenal. So I'll probably end up giving that, that game a shot regardless. Alien Isolation, which a lot of people are saying is really scary and atmospheric. Project Spark, which is, I don't know what that game is all about. I mean, never heard of it. Uh, they just announced, I'm trying to remember who was it, um, an old school uh, Super Nintendo game, that character from Rare, they're putting into that game, I can't remember. You guys comment let me know. Drive Club, which I'm not interested in. Are you into Sims? A lot of people are, though. I know. Are you into Sims at all? Do you like driving Sims? Do I ever play them? Doesn't mean you don't like them. Yeah, if I liked them, I'd play them. Okay, I guess I don't know her too well. Uh, NBA 2K15, The Evil Within, which I'm getting. Uh, Evolve, which I'm getting. Damn, my money's going to be fucked up in October. Uh, WWE 2015, which she's getting. <laughs> yes, wrestling. Assassin's, Assassin's Creed Unity. Sunset Overdrive. Let's go back to Assassin's Creed. Are you excited about Assassin's Creed at all? I played the first one and that's it. I'm not, I mean... It's uh, a very repetitive game. It didn't really capture my interest. Well, that's a good way of saying it. I just... Uh, yeah. The story just seemed to get convoluted to me, and, and it just had you going through all these twists and turns, and they're trying to just make it an annual thing now. Not, not one of my faves. It'll fail. Bayonetta 2 is coming to the Wii U for all the Nintendo fights out there, um, and I think it's really good news for Nintendo to get a game like that. I don't know how well it'll sell, but uh, it's still a, a good thing to see. Um, Borderlands, the pre-sequel, which is... I love Borderlands, but the fact that they didn't do anything on a new console kind of irks me a little bit. And those are the games coming out in October. So, you think it's to avoid the um, the clutter, the congestion of the month? I to yeah. I totally agree. I think that uh, anything that any game that's coming out in October is going to get lost uh, in the congestion of that month. I mean, if you're a gamer, listen to the games I just said I'm gonna buy. Uh, how are you gonna decide which games to get? There's like 15. There's at least one, two. Let me see. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 AAA titles across multiple platforms. How do you decide which one you're going to get? I mean... And they're moving over to November where there's, what, only four games coming out? In November, uh, there's going to be more than four, but the AAA titles, the most notable ones are Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which is going to sell like hotcakes. The Crew, 
which seems more interesting to me than most um, driving games. It yeah. looks real fun, actually. Yeah, because it's so it's such a vast game. Halo: The Master Chief Collection, which Gotta is have a, it. A, a, a definite value, and Far Cry Four, which seems extremely awesome. good. So I'd much rather go up against four AAA titles than thirteen AAA titles. So I'm in the mindset that um, they definitely moved over to November to avoid that congestion, the confusion, and potentially pull in a few extra bucks because, you know, November you got Call of Duty, Halo, and um, those and Far Cry 4. Those are the first-person shooters. So that that's a whole nother niche than Dragon Age Inquis Inquisition, easy for me to say. Yeah. And um, then you got the crew. So they have their own carved-out niche in November, so I think it's probably for that reason. You guys let me know. And the other game that they de they delayed is uh, Battlefield Hardline, or should I say Battlefield uh, Battlefield 4 DLC Hardline. It's been delayed till 2015. Mm. And uh, I think that it's good and bad. I won't be buying the game. I don't feel any desire to play it personally, and that's nothing against the guys who love Battlefield. It's just um, when I played that that beta, I felt it was such so close to Battlefield Four. I didn't even play it. You saw it though, didn't you? Or were you running around the house cooking and cleaning? Probably. Probably. I do so. that a lot. It's a good woman here. You know, you got to go to Croatia to get these. Um, yeah, but it felt so similar to Battlefield Four, um, and I just felt like there was no draw, no no motivation to even play it ever again. I played the beta for like ten minutes. And uh, I think they're releasing this game in 2015, the undis undisclosed date, because they don't want it to be another debacle of Battlefield 4. They don't want to release a product that doesn't work. And I think and if they have did, the fans mad again. The people are, were pissed off. And if they did that again, they I think Battlefield would suffer huge losses and people would be very apprehensive about potentially revisiting the series. You guys... This might be a smart move. It might be, as long as it comes out and it's complete. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, we really do appreciate all the comments and feedback. And if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and uh, support the video. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and this is my wife, Kate. Bye, guys. See you guys next time.